My name is Ross Reed. I'm the director of The Gathering Place. Gathering Place was founded in 1994 to provide basic services to those most vulnerable in our society. We've been operating since then. Uh, about five years ago, The Gathering Place moved from its current location. Uh, two and a half years of renovation and a year ago moved back uh, to Military Road in a much more expanded and up-to-date uh, facility that can serve the needs of our guests much more efficiently and effectively. We provide services uh, to the most vulnerable people in the city. Uh, we provide about 200 hot meals five days a week and brunch on Saturday. We provide clothing. We provide basic health care. Guests can come and have a shower, use the telephone, have access to a computer, we have an arts program, uh, we have access to music, uh, and it's a place primarily I think where people can come, feel secure, uh, get a little peace and quiet in their lives, a little stability, whereas uh, in their current living situation or, or the, 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 where they come and go from, uh, it's not necessarily there, but hopefully they find it with us at the gathering place. The services that we provide to our guests are generally not available to them. Uh, too many times they don't get the supports that they need as they deal with the challenges of addiction, of mental, mental illness, uh, of abuse of a variety of different forms. Before the uh, reconstruction of the Gathering Place, the, uh, the sisters uh, who for, uh, founded the Gathering Place and supported it from the beginning went into the community and said to other organizations, is there another thing that we can do uh, with our property, with the resources that we have? And the community quite loudly and, and quite vociferously said, no, keep doing what you're doing. It's not being done in other places and we sorely need the sorts of services that you provide. So the decision was made to, to, to keep going and to enhance those services. The support from, uh, from the organization, from 100 men, uh, will, will help us in a, in a number of ways. On the financial side, what it will allow us to do is to expand a number of our programs. Uh, we have said all along that we want to be able to get in place uh, the programs that we've delivered in the past uh, before we expand on those and before we diversify. We're beginning to get to the point where there is real opportunity to diversi diversify those programs and, and expand them and offer them more. But there's a couple of other things that, that the organization can do. We depend so heavily on volunteers. Um, we have about 30, 35 volunteers a day in, in the gathering place. And so our contact with organizations like the 100 Men uh, allow us to build volunteer base. But the third thing that they do is they become familiar with the organization, familiar what, with what they do, and we find that people do that, become advocates, and much more engaged on an ongoing basis. So we see this very generous opportunity as having three components. Well, one way obviously is to our website at www.gatheringsjohns.ca, no punctuations. Uh, the best way is to come in, come in, give us a call, say I'd like to come in. We do a bunch of ways we can do it. One, uh, we come in and greet you, tell you what we're doing. One of the things we really like to do uh, is take people around, take them on a tour, take them, show them what's going on, introduce them to some of our guests, introduce them to some of our volunteers. Uh, just, just to be able to experience that. 